Are you starting this new year off and making plans for what you're going to be doing real estate wise in 2024? Me and Karma might have some insight. So Karma, for mm -hmm. someone whose goal is to sell a house next year, what would you tell them? Go ahead and start the process of cleaning out now. Mm -hmm. Take a room a week or a closet a week. Um, clean it out, get rid of it. If you're not taking it with you to your next house, go ahead and start that process of getting rid of it because if you wait till it's time to pack because you're getting ready to move, you're gonna end up taking it with you again or you're gonna end up really stressed. Yeah, because I always tell people like, you wanna do three things when you're evaluating what, what stuff's in, especially your closets and your basement and places like that, you wanna go, this is just junk. Mm -hmm. I need to just trash it. Yeah. Throw it away. I have things I haven't used in quite a while. Yeah. And I'm and getting nobody ready. Else is and nobody else is going to want to use yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it's getting ready to go. So the junk that is just throw away is kind of, to me, the easiest. Because mm -hmm. if, if you do, like Karma says, just one room a week or something like that, you can just throw it in your trash. Mm -hmm. um, and not have to be like we did when we moved last time. And Chad had to bring the dumpster to the driveway because <laughs> we had... So much junk. Right. And then you can start making the next pile, which is the giveaway pile, mm -hmm. because you know it's still got some use to it and you just don't want it, but somebody else will. Right. And there's some places around town, Goodwill, mm -hmm. Hands and Feet, up in Adairsville, different places that you can drop off stuff. And then the stuff, obviously, you want to keep, but you know you're not going to use. Right. Because, mm -hmm. like, I have one of those big mixers. And um, it's actually my daughter's. Don't <laughs> don't let me lie to you. I can't cook, so it's really Lauren's. Um, but we get it out during the holidays mm -hmm. because we use mm -hmm. it, and then it goes into a closet because it takes up so much countertop right, space. Right. So kind of look and yeah. be like, do I need this? Right. It makes the process so much easier because people do stress mm -hmm. when their house goes under contract. Oh my gosh, I've got to get all this stuff. And it makes a difference house. on showing. Yes. Because if they open up the closet and it is stuffed, they can't picture their stuff mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So get rid mm -hmm. of some of that stuff. Now, what about our buyers who are thinking, I want to buy a house in 2024. Mm -hmm. Like my goal is to be in a new house sometimes this year. Mm -hmm. What do you think they should start out the new year thinking about? Um, Definitely talking to a lender, seeing where you actually are in the process. You mm -hmm. might be surprised, um, but yeah, definitely the first thing would be talking to a lender to see um, what your price range and things like programs, things like that are. Yeah, because when you talk to a lender, like people always think, well, if I talk to a lender, that means I have to buy like quickly. Mm -hmm. No, because what you're wanting the, the lender to do is say, so, Karma, you have a 670 credit score. Mm -hmm. If we made a couple of changes, we could get that up to 700, and your interest rate would be less. Right. You can't do that when you find the house you want and you're writing the contract. Mm -hmm. You want to have that conversation up front. So, if there are little things that you can do, because, like, for us one time, it was as simple as, as we had a credit card that we paid off every month, but we would run it up mm -hmm. every month mm -hmm. and then pay it off when the bill came in, yeah. which, which worked. Yeah. You know, we weren't paying interest. But what uh, was happening is on our credit, it showed that we were maxing out mm -hmm. that line of credit. So she actually had me call and get an increase. Okay, yeah. And then that way every month it looked like I was only using half right. of what was available. So, right. And it made our credit score go up. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I think it was about 25 points. Yeah. Like, and it was a, and lot. a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm pre approved for this amount. I'm going to go get what I can for, you know, 300000 um, But a lot of times, too, you need to talk to your lender about what you want your mortgage payment to be per mm -hmm. month because that can change things as well. And that's been life forever because, like, sometimes they'll be like, well, you qualify for this. And you're like, but, but we like to eat out. <laughs> yeah. We eat out a lot. We like to travel. <laughs> so you can't have that payment mm -hmm. that matches what on paper it looks like you can because yeah. you would have to quit eating out and traveling. Mm -hmm. So telling the lender, I really want a payment all in with taxes, insurance, everything, $2,200, mm -hmm. $2,500, whatever you're comfortable with. That's, what, that's the number you really want to 
focusing right. on that. Right. The other thing I always tell people in January, kind of going into the new year, is to start thinking, where could we change a little bit? If you want to mm -hmm. buy a house, sometimes you might have to give something up and increase your savings a right. little bit. Yes. Because for most all of us, we have some money drains where we're spending money, like mine is TJ Maxx, <laughs> like, right, you yeah. know, because if I walk in TJ Maxx, I'm going to walk out with stuff that I don't even need, mm -hmm. but I like. Mm -hmm. So if I was trying to buy a house, I would, I just wouldn't even go in. Yeah. Because, yeah. And that helps. Yeah. So do we want them to let us know if yes. they're buying or yes. selling? Yes. Yes. Even if you're thinking at the end of next year, Listen, if you let us know, there are things that we can help you with and go through this process. And if you're finding this content helpful, we would love if you liked it. Mm -hmm. You can subscribe so you get notified. But really, I want to see your comments because we want this to be a conversation, yeah. not just us. Right. But and you if, you, if you are thinking of cleaning things out and doing things like that, Tell us about how the process is going for you. Yeah, because we might going to offer some tips for mm -hmm. the next person if mm -hmm. you learn something cool. So have a great week.